Hello fellow tributes, this is Catching Fire 3 here and I just recorded an ad for my school and I will post that up before this and yeah well I have the spider mod which yeah, I have the spider mod and it's really cool and then I have a magic wand and I totally forgot what math did but look at my fingers <laughs> I cracked them um I was trying to at least I pulled Spongebob um and then we have broomstick. We have a broomstick mod. Which is really cool unless you don't have god mode on or infinite health on or whatever. Because you get hit hurt. Well, just listen. See my health bar? Yeah. It really hurts too. Oh. Uh but my favorite spell crap I hate when that happens okay now I can uh what was it oh yeah um I was gonna get this and it comes this mod comes with three wands and then this is called spider mod that's all it's called and then just look up Harry Potter and you'll find all this Harry Potter stuff you will find it with that background and it'll show two brooms crisscrossed as an X, like that broom. And then this one will just show what's on his chest, like, um, if I actually equipped it. Uh, let's see, see, it'll show that. Uh, I didn't plan on doing that one, I just randomly put it on there by accident, but I will show you that if it works. The exploding ball, pretty much as it seems. Ow, it explodes. And then this is the fire star room. And you know what I thought was really cool because I never really wanted and needed to do this. Look, it's a harpoon. Which now that I think about it, that's why I take damage. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. Is it a is it broom? So since when you do that in on the broom, you pick it up, right? <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, ignore that. Well, of course it shows the harpoon. It is the harpoon. <gasps> oh yeah, I did this, I did this before, testing it out a little bit. Um, crap, that one wasn't one of the weakest ones that I could have found. And it's gonna kill me. Crap, too close. And apparently we both die. That is good to know. Well, there's that, and then, oh, Annabelle. Mmm, nice. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, I thought I saw, like, right there, I thought I saw something. So, um, I always can't remember it. It's this one that turns it on and off. If I can. There we go. There's different rooms. Of course there's different rooms. It's the TARDIS. This is the library. Probably one of my favorite rooms, even though you can't read any of the books. Imagine, though, one of these was Doctor Who or Lord of the Rings. That would be pretty awesome. Um, let's see. What was in... Oh. I, I keep forgetting. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, it's so confusing. <laughs> it's like a maze in here. But one of those good kinds of mazes that you can always randomly get back to the start by accident of the time stream which you don't die in not, not really sad about that but it's really cool um that you don't well maybe i'm not sure i'm not sure this is one of the many pools the doctor owns um it looks like one of those christian dairies for his insane people okay when you reach this room be careful not to hit one of the buttons. If th yeah, that button, do not press it when in this room because you cannot stop being zero gravity. It was so annoying. I had to <coughs> come back. I had to try to find another anti gravity room, and, like go into there and then walk out and then I just jump like this. And there's just random things like this, random movie theater. And then there's random rooms that have, like, literally nothing in them, but pretty cool still because, like, 
Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this room. It's like um one of the original consoles and if you can send me a link through my email or whatever, I will ask uh, uh, I'm asking right now if you can send me either a briefing through a website or a briefing through just talking to me. So yeah, um so this is just random rooms. This is like some of these rooms just don't lead anywhere. They just lead to a dead end. Oh my god, it's one of those big rooms. Oh, there's like two big rooms. Um Let's see. Oh my god. That scared me. If that didn't hurt as much, and if that would probably hurt more. Oh my god, I have got to stop seeing things. Um, so yeah, um, now just to find my way back. I think this is one of the other pools. Yeah, this is one of the other pools, one of the other many pools. Which, I think the 11th Doctor ones he regenerated, I'm not sure about any of the old ones, but in the 11th one I've seen him regenerate. Um, he's probably my favorite one, but because Cap Peter Capaldi is on in this one, I, in the new Doctor Who, I'm like, he's a good Doctor. I showed him to my mother, which she said she wasn't gonna watch it, it ever again because of how Matt Smith Matt Smith? Yeah, Matt Smith isn't in it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have many swimming pools, and over here I know this is tennis court. Um, there's so many rooms I wouldn't be able to show you all in one video, or maybe... Oh yeah, didn't I? Oh no, this is... This is different. Oh, this is one of those other testing rooms, aren't they? Isn't it? Uh, that's what I think, at least. I'm not so sure. Like this room, for instance. This is one of those nonsense rooms that are like for tiny lunches or whatever. Uh, I'm not even going to be racist towards British people, but it's something that most British people like. Tea and biscuits. Or if you're British, tea and crumpets, but you know. I'm American. American. Just awesome like that. So um, let's see. Wait a minute. You, you, yeah, you're coming with me. You thought you could hide, did you? Yeah, you can hide. Actually. video just don't flag me down man don't flag me down um I hate how that's a double door it's like trying to go through one door and then one opens and then it's like what what you you don't open all the way I have to open you from both doorways just to get through you I am not that fat I'm just skinny enough because look at me. I'm I'm the 11th doctor. For Pete's sake, man.